What's going on, guys? Um, haven't done a video in like two days. I know I didn't do a um general hospital review. I didn't really get to watch out the whole episode yesterday. I think I'm gonna have to catch the episode during the marathon on. So catch yesterday's episode on during the marathon on front during the marathon on today. So I should I if I decide to do the review yesterday's episode because I know I missed like the last thirty minutes of it because it was a special report on um. It was a special report on um, with President Obama and the Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, which I was fine with that because the the reason um, the special report was um, going through um, it was like for the memorial service of those four people that were killed over in Libya. So I was fine with that. Um, I just went on and did other things I had to do. Um, anyway, um, I'm here to talk about a lot of big, big, big soap opera news. Most of it returning to the young and the restless. Let me get right into it. We find out Thursday that there's an actress that's, that a, a actress that's out at the young and the restless. And that actress happens to be Jenny Francis. Now something told me when Jill Farron Phelps took over the young and the restless, Jenny Francis was going to be the first to go. Now something just told me she was going to be the first to go. I just figured that Jenny Francis was going to be the first to go because we all know Jenny Francis and this whole and, Je and Jill Farron Phelps have history from General Hospital and I'm hearing that Jill Farron Phelps is one of the reasons Jenny Francis left General Hospital but um hey but with her gone she may be back Laura, Laura Spencer may be back at GH we never know with Jenny Francis gone from um gone from Young and the Restless then a couple hours later, I hear another actress is out at the Young and the Restless. I go on Twitter. Debbie Morgan has tweeted. Debbie Morgan tweets. Fans, I want to. Be, I want to be the first. I want to be the first to tell you guys the new regiment, the new regime at the Young and the Restless has decided to let me go. So she has a lot. That she has and says she has a lot to do. Well, she has so much to do with um to get ready for how she takes her. She takes her last. I know she said she tapes her last episode October 5th. Just like a week or so before the new regime stuff starts airing. But she said October 5th is her last day. We don't know about Jenny Francis. We don't know when her last day is. And then later on Thursday night, I hear a root. We hear, I go on Daytime Confidential. Daytime, Daytime, I go to Daytime Confidential Twitter, Daytime Confidential's Twitter page. Um... And I see Marcy Ryland, who plays Abby, who's a fabulous, she's gorgeous, she's, she's fine as hell to me, she's fine as hell to me, she's gorgeous, and um, I find, we find out she's been let go, we find she has been let go, as Abby, who was, Abby's like a huge, everybody's like, well, she's not that big, well, she, she her character is Victor Newman, Victor, too, Big time power players, one of them who's not there anymore. Um, who probably with all this going on, Eileen Davidson probably would never come back. Um who's um the daughter of two big time characters on the show. Victor and Ashley. She's a part of both two of the top families on the show, the Newmans and the Abbots. Why would they let her go? I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna do with the character. Um, from what I'm hearing, I know the Genevieve character and the Harmony character probably will be, probably will be, um, just, just move off and just exit out. Exit, they probably will have exit, exit storylines, but they just leave town. I, I highly doubt any of them are going to be killed off. Um, and, uh, and the character Abby, if, if they don't recast the role, which if they do, Jill Farron Phelps is probably just going to bring some fucking person from the, from her new show, from that show, Hollywood Heights, which isn't that bad of a show. Which I will say isn't that bad of a show. But I'm saying she's probably going to bring somebody on from, hell, Brittany Underwood, who's the star of Hollywood, one of the stars of Hollywood Heights, probably going to come over as Abby. But I like Marcy Rollins. She's a incredible, she's a great actress. I mean, she actually tweeted about it. She's actually fine about it. I don't really follow on Twitter, but I have friends that retweet her stuff, and, like, people that I follow retweet her stuff, like, anyway, but they, they, they're they saying that, um... But she says she's actually fine with it. She says she's okay 
but she's just excited to see what comes next. She had a blast at Young and Orestes, but she's just really excited to see what comes next. Which, that's good. Um, but anyway, but if they recast the character, like I said, excuse me, I am willing to bet any amount of money that they bring somebody from Hollywood Heights so from Hollywood, or a former soap star, which I don't think they're going to be doing much of that. Because CBS, and I'm, I'm now I got a good feeling that this is probably why, and I got this why I got a good feeling that Stephen Nichols may be out next. Stephen Nichols may be because there are two shows on two day, soap operas, Days of Our Lives and um, General Hospital that that could use his services. He was on both shows. Both of them could use his services. But uh, anyway, I would love to see Stefan come back on on General Hospital. I'd like to see that. Um. But um, I have a good feeling that they're out. They're gonna be out next. But I found out this morning from Daytime Confidential, and I think some more people have been tweeting about it that Billy Miller and Michael Grosende have not been fired. They just they they're just it's just a rumor. Take this with a grain of salt. I update you guys on whether or not this is true or not. That they have been they haven't been let go. More so, they've decided to leave on their own because both of them have booming careers ahead of them. They're going, they're going to try to um, venture into TV and the movies, to TV and movies. So, I'm interested in seeing what they're if if, they, if any of this is true. I, I know both of them are going to have great careers because they because while they were on Young and the Restless, they both did other shows. And Billy Miller just recently, I don't watch Lifetime, but he recently had a Lifetime movie come out. He recently just had a lifetime movie, which my mom watches, which a lot of other people watched. Said it was pretty decent. Said it was pretty good. Um, Michael Grosnade was on American Horror Story last year, and he was also on um, The Secret Circle, which I'm not sure if that even comes on anymore, but I believe Michael Grosnade is going to do good out there in Hollywood, and Billy Miller, too. I mean, soap operas were just a launching pad for them, I believe. Um, but anyway... If they leave this show, Billy is one of Billy is I think Billy Miller's one of the top actors on Y and R. He's an Emmy winner. I believe he's one of the top actors on Y and R. Michael Grosnade is not that bad either. But what I don't understand is if they get rid of when they if they got rid of Jenny Francis, um, Debbie Morgan, and Marcy Ryan. I'm also hearing the actress that plays Heather. She's out. I'm hearing she's out. I think her name's Jennifer Landon. I'm hearing she's out. I'm hearing she has been let go from the Young and the Restless. Cause I'm, I'm being honest with you, she was on a note. She was on One Life to Live, I think. Was she on One Life to Live or As the World Turns? One of those soaps. It was One Life to Live or As the World Turns. I don't think it was One Life to Live. I'm gonna say more As the World Turns. I think she was on As the World Turns. Um, she um, she's another soap star, and I know for a fact they're saying that CBS and Sony, Sony and CBS did not like Maria Bell bringing on all these old soap stars and whatnot. I'm hearing that she, they did not like that at all. That's what I'm Debbie Morgan, I mean, not Debbie Morgan, Darnell Williams, he's probably out. No, they may keep him since it seems like they're actually, that new Tyler Douglas character, which has yet to be cast, um, is actually, I'm hearing she, um, he's going to be a new love interest to Lily. And speaking of Lily, do any of you guys know anything about Crystal Khalil? I mean, what, what's going on? What, what's, what's up with her contract negotiations? And do any of you guys know anything about that? I haven't heard anything about that since I, I know I heard they have over the negotiations because of the fucking Lane fans. I mean, I just want to know, why do you waste your hard... Why did they waste their hard-earned money to get a plane together? I mean, for people, they probably haven't really just... I mean, they probably talked to these people. Man, have they even really met these people? I just want to know that. Have they even met these people? I'm just saying. Fan bases. I mean, anyway, um... Another thing, um... But, yeah, I know that ha that probably helped them reopen the negotiations for Crystal Khalil. But yet, you don't negotiate with Jenny Francis and Debbie Morgan, who are daytime legends. And you don't... Hell, Marcy Ryland did come from another soap, too. Um... But yeah, you don't negotiate with them. Marcy Ryan's a great actress. You don't negotiate with her. But yet you're gonna negotiate with Crystal Khalil. I mean, and I'm kind of believing that whole thing about her walking is 
the fact that they're bringing on this uh, African American character for her for her. And I believe that's a lot of people, a lot me and a lot of other people believe that's actually why. That's probably actually why she's leaving, and I technically believe that. And I'm, I'm starting to believe that. I don't want to believe it, but I'm starting to believe that. Anyway, I digress. Well, I'm, I'm interested in seeing them these next couple of weeks. Because I know yesterday they shot the very first episode of the new regiment, the new regime's um, stuff. They shot the very first episode. I also know they shot the... They also shot... Um, they, they, Well, they shot it yesterday. They shot the very first episode for the new regime yesterday. And, um, I'm interested in seeing what they, according to Michael Muni, it's great. According to Michael Muni, it's, it's one of the best things he's ever read. He he loves their, their new vision for Adam. They probably got Adam running, running Newman Enterprises. I guarantee you they got running. That's why he, he decided not to take it. Michael Muni got an offer to be on a new primetime show. To play the lead character in a new primetime show. Which it would be funny, and he turned it down. But it would be funny as hell if they gave that show to somebody else, and that, that, that show comes up, turns out to be a hit. It's gonna be hilarious if that show turns out to be a hit. I'm like, well, Michael Mooney, oh, Michael Mooney, okay, you're a good actor too, but I would have took the prime time gig. I mean, I mean, Young and the Restless is gonna always I mean they're, they're two, they're they got two more years. Soap operas are dying, true enough, but um. Young and you guys have two more years in your contract to try to fix things. I'm just saying, my community is always going to be there. And I guarantee if you try to come back, you guys probably could work something out. You, I'm just saying, I, I would have took the prime time gig. But anyway, um, is that that's about all I got for the Young and the Restless stuff. Um, there hadn't really been many casting stuff going on, and big casting cuts going on on any other shows. Um, we all know General Hospital Steve Burton shoots his last episode, I think, in two weeks. So, um, I'm interested in seeing what his exit story exit storyline is gonna be. But anyway, let me know what you guys think about all the new casting cuts on the Young and the Wrestlers. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave me a comment. Don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, this is um I'm checking out um Peace. I'll be back I'll probably be back Monday with a I'll do a general hospital review. If Y&R is decent, which is probably not going to be, I'll do a review for that. Anyway, this is me checking out. Peace. God bless. I'm out.